I think the question is the definition of empathy. If the definition is really about being understood by another human being, AI is just by nature not going to accomplish their empathy. The biggest advancement in the recent year is definitely the large language models. And we see the capabilities of these large language models and what they can do. There is a lot of potential, but there is also risk that we need to mitigate. Large language models, they are doing really impressive things right now. What this large language model can provide is because they are in the training corpus, you have, they have seen these billions and billions of these documents, but still essentially what they're doing is intaking the context and the text input and to predict the next word. So they are not delivering the real the empathy, they are simulating, for example, people's empathetic responses, etc. So if people are not aware of the mechanisms of this uh, large language model and really trusting <laughs> these tools, and if the designers of these products are not aware of these potential risks, there are some like potential harms and lead to some severe consequences. And what we are trying to do is really trying to make sure that yeah, these systems, once they are embedded in these real-world uh, application and uh, people can directly interact with them and how to make sure that we could mitigate the harms and really leverage their potentials. And the one of the aspects is really uh, looking to some of the vulnerable uh, populations. For example, if it's uh, the medical domain, then accuracy becomes really important. So it's really domain-specific, asking tax-related questions, asking medical-related questions, yeah, seeking counseling services. These are the real cases we have been seeing. They have a very different, like, actually, success measurements. So I think what we are trying to do is also trying to see what we could do to make sure that the large language model actually works in the specific use cases and use domains and what are the domain specific challenges are and how we could address them. People have both information needs and emotion needs and information support needs and emotional support needs. If the, the customer service, this robot can provide accurate responses, actually I'm satisfied. I just had encountered this issue yesterday. I tried to get a refund. Well, it requested me to chat with a customer representative. I think it's a chatbot, but they gave me the refund. And so I'm like, okay, my need is satisfied, but because my only <laughs> sort of request in that particular context is get a refund. I got it, that's good. But then I think the deep emotional support need could only be satisfied by the actual empathy from a real people.